Okay, so this is a video tutorial slash walkthrough for Victoria Empire Under the Sun. This is just for those people who are just starting out who have no idea what they're doing. Uh, it is a pretty mammoth game, so these videos are here to help. To begin with, uh, you get to choose from your scenario. Um, I'm going to start off with the Grand Campaign from 1836, but you can choose to uh, start from whenever. Um, there's choices such as 1880, the uh, the American Civil War is before that, in around the 18, uh, 1840s or so, I believe. And um, let's see what else. There's uh, just before World War One, so probably about 1914, I'd say. And for this for these particular videos, I'm going to be playing as Russia. Um, I would recommend if you're starting the game to play as a big, powerful country because it just um, it's a lot easier. And because there's so much going on, you don't want to be uh, having your uh, sort of ass kicked right at the beginning of the game. That's never any fun. So um, yeah, play as a big, powerful country to begin with, and then if you want to p uh, play as your own nation, um, you know who uh, may not be quite so uh, s quite so powerful, then uh, then do that later. But only once you've got a handle on the uh, the game. These tabs at the side of the map here uh, show you the uh, economic resources in each territory. They show you uh, factories and um, the infrastructure um, and they also show you the revolt risk um, as well. I'm just uh, zooming out there at the bottom left to uh, so you can see uh, Europe. Um, F1 brings you up the the standings of the different countries and you've got your points there and also where your your flag is on that left hand panel there's a little number telling you where you are in the world and your place your rank in the world is dependent on your industry your military and your prestige so whenever you get the opportunity to increase things like prestige by paying a little bit of money there are some events it's well worth to just uh, just because it's a very easy way of um, bringing up your score uh, having a good industry, I think, is underpins everything. Um, this we're just looking at certain uh, certain colonies or, or places where you can um, expand into. But at the moment, I don't have the uh, the resources to do so. One of the first things you should be doing when you start up is firstly have it on pause. Secondly, start researching technology and sort out your budget. Here, the technology. Um, panel you can look down and see which ones you want to do um, it will tell you what the the effects are uh, they will fall into the character uh, categories of army navy industry things like that and you can also click on these boxes and see what ones you've already researched which ones you've yet to research what their effects are and uh, at the beginning you want to be going for things which um, increase your your the amount of machine parts that you get um, and also um, things like railways and things like that uh, in improving your capitalist bonuses um, and things like that are really really useful um, with the with the budget uh, what I always start off is taxing my population to uh, well not to the very limit but um, about 49 point uh, two two percent is usually the, the highest I can do it before they I start pissing everyone off. Uh, put the education budget all the way up to the top so your um, your technology goes a little bit faster. Also, uh, bring down the if you've got a big navy like Russia, um, bring down the navy budget not quite to zero but just above it so that you still have some ships. But um, because you're not fighting any wars right now, it, they don't need to be at full maintenance. But do keep your um, do keep your army maintenance up, uh, because if you bring that down, then soldiers actually start dying and things like that. You don't you shouldn't really need a crime much in the in the way of crime at the beginning. Um, you can bring the defense budget down as well again because you're not fighting any wars, and you can also bring the bring your tariffs up. Um, as well to bring in some more money. Again, this is just how I play it. You don't have to play it like that, especially if uh, you've already played this uh, game many times through and you just have to, happen to be watching this video uh, for uh, for the sake of um, f uh, whatever. Um, you know, it's uh, this is just how I happen to play it, but um, hopefully it will be of some use. Um, I'm sure there are better ways of doing things, but this is this is my way and it seems to have done me well so far. Um, there's been very few games that I've actually lost um yeah so I and mean, I've played these campaigns through loads of times so um what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going into um the 
uh, the trade kind of window and I'm purchasing items, I'm importing items and resources which I need for um, for various things. Uh, at the moment I'm bringing in small arms and canned food um, you kind of just drag the slider along to about 30 at the moment it seems to be a good uh, number or th well actually 30 to 50 um, I think 40 to 50 actually because what I need those for is to increase my mobilization pool. It's basically like uh, the the army that you have kind of as its largest extent. Um, you don't want to be using your mobilization pool too much because other countries will really um, want to will really hate you for using uh, just everything you have. And that's basically what the mobilization pool is. I was also looking at these factories, um, seeing what what resources I needed for those um, in order to manufacture goods as well and at the moment I can't really do too much uh, I'm kind of constrained by the political system here I'm using the the revolutions the um, kind of expansion pack and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the political mode and here I'm picking the party which has a state capitalist um, sort of setting um, some countries won't have parties like that but most of them should and uh, by doing that you're allowed uh, a great degree of freedom over the economy and that's always a good thing um, as I said if you're playing the original Victoria Empire Under the Sun um, you probably won't have problems with that you can pretty much do whatever you want in your society um, but you know that's uh, that's something that comes up uh, in revolutions here is the um, the relations screen I'm not going to use it too much in these early videos because I'm going to try and just focus on my own country um, at the moment um, but there you can see who's fighting who and um, what wars are going on, who's allied to who and you, you saw there Sweden just improved our relations. I mean at the beginning you don't really want to be spending too much time being all pally with people, at least I don't um, unless there's like a real um, kind of territorial claim in Africa or somewhere else in the world that you really want and you know that you'll never get it without being really friendly to them and then uh, going into negotiations, there's not really much point. It just uh, you may as well just leave it, uh, leave some to uh, some diplomatic points to build up till you really need them, because you only get I think about one and between one and two usually a year. I mean sometimes you can get more, but uh, and there are cheats as well. But um, I won't be using too many cheats. Uh, maybe one bad boy is a pretty good one. Uh, tells you how uh, how people are what they think of you and it's not really a cheat it's just a kind of um, good way of knowing whether or not everyone hates you which uh, which they usually do if you um, use your mobilization pool too much um, at the moment if you're you're still sticking with this video and you're uh, you're a beginner and you're not too sure what the hell's going on don't worry if you watch the rest of them uh, you should get a better understanding I'm gonna be repeating a lot of the things I I talk about as well so uh, you know, by the end of it, you'll uh, you should have a, a really good um, uh, sort of starting base. At the moment, I'm just going through the regions, um, and it shows you also on the left hand side when I do that the different provinces. Whenever you really want to get back to the main screen on on the left hand side, you just uh, click on that crown, and that helps you out. Um, I happen to be using a laptop, and I don't have the pause button, so I have to keep on clicking up on that right hand corner. If you uh, if you're the same then uh, you know I feel for you because it's really annoying um, other than that um, uh, for the moment uh, there's not too much else really to say this was just kinda like the introductory video um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be looking at uh, some other things a bit later on some things in, uh, specifically this is just kinda sorting out the economy well, not really, because I'm not really going into much depth. I'm kind of looking at my timer here, and it's like 9 minutes and 20-odd seconds. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to leave it here for a bit. But, um, yeah, feel free to uh, join me in the next video. I will be talking about things in more detail and stuff, and uh, explaining things properly. But this was just a kind of overview at the moment, just to um, lead into these videos. But, that's me.